Hey guys, Bill here, and in this video I'm going to talk about some times in the future that I think I'm going to avoid playing the three minute opening range break. Um, I've played this strategy for 30 sessions now. Um, I believe I've won on it 22 of the 30 times, which is a pretty good win rate. But I think that we can make it even a little better by finding a couple times every every few weeks or so where it could be avoided um, or just kind of like played differently. And I'll talk about that. Basically, this is an example on Spy from the 8th. Um, and what we've got here is this 380 level is a major level for me. It's been that way pretty much all year. It's the COVID 382 fib. And um, on this day, we had just broken above it a little bit the day before and kind of coiled around it. And then in pre-market overtook it again. And so at this point I was thinking, all right, right, let's. we're probably gonna retest this and we need to see it turn into support from resistance. And if it does, it's very bullish for SPY. Um, so that day we opened around 381 and then the first three one minute candles were a flush right down to this level, a little wick below and a close over. So at this point your opening range for your three minute is set with these two orange lines, but I didn't play it. I didn't play it to the downside and I'll tell you why. I mentioned this 380 level. To me, it's a super important level on SPY. It has been for a long time now for both resistance and support. But in this case, we're looking for it to hold support on a new flip from resistance to support. And to me, the risk reward is just not there trying to get more downside right off the open after a, down, a dollar downside move already pulling to what could be major support. Um, if anything, with this kind of setup, if I'm going to play, I'd probably look for this opening range to hold for a few minutes. And if it can overtake it and stay in it like it's doing right here, I would be looking for calls up to the top of the opening range. And then if we get the break even better, or I would just sit back and wait for the break here. If that break doesn't happen till 15 minutes in, um, which I think it, yeah, it does. It's it's 17 minutes in, or no, that's really far in, sorry. It's uh, pretty far in the day when it actually breaks. Then I would just be looking to play the 15 minute opening range break with confirmation over. So you know with the three minute orb, we don't have confirmation per se. We're waiting for it, um, the stock price to just sort of move outside of the range. I, I usually use about a 10 cent buffer, which means that if we were playing it in the traditional sense, we would have been in around here. And we do get a little bit of a move down, but it's like 30 or 40 cents. And on zero DTEs, yeah, you probably could have picked up five to 10%, but nothing to write home about. Um, and to me, there's just not as much risk to reward trying to play the downside here at this key level. And what I mean by that is, what's the worst thing that's gonna happen if you play calls at this level? Is it gonna be a one or $2 move down? I mean, you're probably gonna be exiting the trade on some type of candle close. And because the three minute orb strategy is on the one minute, these candles, any one one minute candle is not some big indicator of anything that you can trust. Like if you're trying to play, you know, the close of one minute candle here, the next one could just be bought right back up, which isn't as true when you go to higher time frames. Five, 10, 15 minute candles are a little, are way more or less likely to fake you out. So when I'm looking at this from a risk reward standpoint, I could think that if this 380 level does hold, the upside is what? I mean, if SPY has a big day, does like 2%, that's like an $8 move up. Maybe we hit 388, right? And what the worst thing that can happen, let's say we have a five minute candle close and outside of taking some huge knife, that's an outlier move maybe, off a news headline or something. The worst thing that's gonna happen is maybe SPY takes a dollar to $2 move down before you close out with your five minute close or, or whatever time frame you're using. So a one to $2 loss with the potential of six, seven, $8 win, that's good risk to reward. Um, and you don't have to play this at all, but I just think that the likelihood of trying to go short here under a major level that's trying to become support 
the upside's just not very high. All right. So if you want to come down and take calls off the bottom of the opening range and play it, um, try to play it back up or you want to wait till it's we're back over 380, this key level. All these provide way better uh, risk to reward than trying to go short there. So in the future, I'm going to keep those things in mind. Obviously, everyone has their own technical analysis and their charts and their key levels. So it's up to you. If you think that SPY's opening right next to a major level on your chart, maybe you don't want to try to play the breakout of that level. So this would apply to the upside as well. Let's say we think 385 is a huge resistance and we're opening at 384 or so and we get a little move up. I would be way more interested in trying to play puts off that um, than I would trying to play the one minute candle breakout over it. Um, hopefully that makes sense. And as you can see, you know, on this day, this was a wild day of price action. But when we did hold and on the 15 minute chart, it shows it way better. Um, but when we held, uh, where is that day? Why did it take me all the way back here? Great. We will thank you goes back a month in time because you change from the five minute or the one minute to the 15 minute. That's incredible. Um, on the 15, it paints a clear picture of how good this support level is. And a lot of the reason why I didn't want to take the trade. We get two 15 minute candles where we wick down and close over. They're trapping shorts who are getting eager to go short as soon as we get any movement under this level. And that's what I'm trying to avoid. And then you can see how strong the move up was with just four, five, six, seven, eight straight 15 minute candles green up, you know, from the bottom, getting over the opening range uh, high here, which remained the 15 minute and one minute were both the same in a big move, like $6 move up. And then the rest of the day was wild, the crash right back down, bounce right back up. One of the funner days of the last few months. But that's besides the point, guys. But I'm just trying to increase the win percentage on this strategy as much as possible. So this isn't something that's going to happen often where you're opening right at a super big level on SPY right off the open. But keep that in mind. Keep it in your back pocket. If we are opening near a major level on your chart, just try to think about the risk reward and try to play, you know, try, try not to play those breakouts on one minute time frames right off the open. They usually are going to fake you out. All right. If you have any questions, leave a comment, uh, send me a DM, hit me up in the discord and I'll help you out. Thanks.